Every year, the UK rail network moves over 1.7 billion people and 75 million tonnes of cargo. Despite this, it only accounts for 8% of passenger journeys. And with the news that it is more important than ever we begin to embrace the use of public transport, I went to meet Alice Gilman at Viva Rail to find out what they do to build this, the UK's first battery-powered emission-free train, as well as what makes it so unique and sustainable. So Alice, we're on this amazing battery powered train. Yep. Can you tell me like, what is it you do to refurbish them and get them into the state that they are now? Yeah. Jeff, do you remember when you came and saw us a couple of years ago? I do. Yes. Did the train look anything like this? No. No. So what we have done is we have just reused the body shell and installed everything new. So what you're in is essentially a perfectly new train. But as you know, they started off their life about 40 years ago on the district line. Yes. And this is what you can achieve when you apply really good thinking outside of the box to something that's got good quality and a lot of life left in it. So how do these fare in terms of energy saving and also what that means for carbon in the environment? Yes, very good question. Now, because we have started off reusing these body shells and the bogies, you saved immediately having to build from you. Um, so that's hundreds of tonnes of aluminium, all the heat, the waste that would come from it. Um, and then, as you said, it's a battery train. Yeah. So a battery train is zero emission. Y you're in about the greenest train that you can be in in the UK today, even though it's red and white. It is very green, and I, I've heard a term, which is the word upcycle. Yeah. Are you happy with that term? Are you, do you feel like you're being the pioneers of, of an upcycle train revolution? See, I mean, trains have always been refurbished. This itself was refurbished just before we took it on um, when it was still on the district line. Yeah. So you could look at it that way. I mean, trains have got a very long life and you want to make best use of them. So I think we describe ourselves more as a green technology company. A green technology company? Yes. I like it, I like it. Yes. Well, if you think about it, the traction, the power source for this, it is completely new. We've taken away absolutely everything and all you've got underneath these trains now are batteries, um, the power electronics and the traction control units. See, it's, it, it's good. It's, it's great amazing. for the environment. It really, really is. And there you go, you've got a zero emission train. So I want to ask, how is this train powered? But I know it's powered by batteries. So what? the batteries are down here and that's the main difference between this and a, a regular train is that right yeah I mean all our trains are designed um, so that the power packs sit in modules it makes it very easy to maintain and you can get at things properly and it makes them fully interchangeable for power upgrades in the future but I think the biggest question I want to ask and probably other people want yes. to know just as you uh, in the afternoon your phone starts to run down or maybe you have an electric car yes you know and you have what's called range anxiety is that is, that, is range anxiety a thing in, in well, trains it, it, it's a really good question you can look at it two ways one you could be driving a diesel car and your diesel <laughs> runs out and you need to take an urgent stop to the petrol station but you know so you plan for it now the interesting thing and that is always missed out is battery trains now can run for up to 100 miles between charges and we've developed this system called fast charge that will recharge in 10 minutes so you get to a station and you're going to be there and you just top up automatically and your battery is then back up to full power and because you always know where trains are going and what they're doing and you can map everything properly you just do it logically but does that mean like if you've say got an electric car you know the driver or guard has to step out and they yeah plug in a cable or do you have technology where the train just sort of comes to a stop in the right place and then it automatically starts charging? That's it, exactly, yes. Now you run it through shoe gear, they're, they're special carbon ceramic shoe gear because um, they need to cope with a lot of heat going through them. Um, but yes, it, it is kind of a third and fourth rail system. There's conductor rails, train pulls in, a series of safety interlock checks takes place and then the train draws its power in from trackside battery banks. And I believe your trains are designed for sort of back and forth shuttle services where they might have a 10 minute stand at either end. So during that stand time, they're automatically being yes. charged. Yes, exactly. You can do that. Um, and it's, you know, even if you don't need to replenish to full, you've only got an eight minute stop or a two minute stop. You can just replenish what you can, topping up as you go. So range becomes then limitless. Batteries themselves have a huge application. And of course, they fill in those gaps of electrification with 
fraction, a tenth of the cost of electrifying. And that is the main benefit. I know it sounds obvious, but these battery trains can drive where, you know, on unelectrified tracks. Yeah, exactly. So because of the performance you can get and the range that you can get, it, it just solves a lot of problems. You've got then an independently powered emission-free train that just runs on off where the electrified sections stop. It's, it's not just a gap filler, it's a game changer. So we're back inside on board now. Now, Alice, could you tell me about some of the other systems and features on board, like this USB or accessible doors or the information screens? I believe there's an amazingly large toilet as well. Yes, the universal access toilet is, I think, the thing that makes a, well, not just our trains, but any train. That you, trains have got to be accessible for everybody to use. And yes, that's a fundamental part. Alice, thank you so much for your time. I always love coming to Viva Rail. Rather boringly, I've just realised I've got to go home on my non-battery powered train, but diesel instead. <laughs> how, how terribly dull. <laughs> Bye then, Jeff.